Uh, guten Tag, meine Damen und Herren. Und uh, if you remember me, my name is Professor Heinrich von Hinkelbottom. I was the uh, guest clinician that helped you prepare for your ISMA contest. I was very, very upset to hear that it was cancelled. And not only that, but also your entire school year has now been kaput and it has uh, been cancelled as well. Um, but Mr. Korn has asked me to come back and help you with uh, the C minor scale. So sh we shall start off with uh, the flute section, the flutes and the oboes. You have the easiest jobs um all you have to do is you just look at over here at your key signature it is the exact same as the e flat major scale which you already all have checked off so you just press down the exact same buttons you just start on a z different note so remember please that this note right here is an a flat it is the one with the pinky okay so when you press down for the a because you have these three flats you press down these three buttons your pinky that is how it goes okay so that is very very easy for all of you next is the clarinets so clarinets um you have a very difficult transition to make here uh you have a very very difficult transition to make here okay so uh it is right here, let me zoom in one more time. Oh, yes, that is there. Good. It's much, much better. Um, because of this B flat right here, when you go across the break, the, the break uh, B flat to C is very, very difficult. Okay. Um, so what you might want to do before you actually play this scale is you might just practice going from B flat to C over and over and over again, just, just like this. So that when you play a scale, it is much easier. Yeah. Okay. So that will help you out if you practice like that. Yes. Okay. Uh, next, the altos. Yours is very, very easy, actually. Um, <laughs> you have the easiest job out of probably anyone in the entire, uh, in the entire band. Yes. Uh, it's just, it's just like this. You have no, you have no key signature. Okay, so it's all just natural notes. You just go up. Just make sure that this note right here is an F natural, not an F sharp. Okay, that is the only thing. That is, it is very, very easy. Okay, now this goes for all the brass players except for the French horns. I shall show you on the uh, trumpet music because that is the instrument that I have here. I do not have a tuba as it, it would take up a lot of, large room, amount of room, and I am a very, very small man, and uh, it is larger than me. Okay, so... Same thing I told the clarinet, you have this flat here. So this scale is very, very easy because you right there will press down first button. You shall also press down first button here. You shall also press down first button here. So you are pressing down first buttons uh, three times. Yeah. And so it, uh, it lies with the fingers very, very well. D, E, F natural, G, A, B flat, C, high D. Now, the thing that uh, gets difficult is you must do what it, Mr. Cohen wrote here. Increase your air on the second half of the scale. If you do not, it just will sound like this. If you do nothing, then nothing will come out. You have to make this machine work. It is not magical. It is not a magic one like in the, uh, uh, how you say, the Harry Potter uh, music, okay? So uh, you must make it work. You increase your air and it gets better. Yeah, okay, good. Now, when you get over to the arpeggio, right here, brass players, um, right here is the most difficult part, okay? So if when I am playing along, to get that leap between this note and this note, the third and the fourth note in the arpeggio, I have to really change my air. If I do not change my air, this is what happens. I get a B flat right here, or if I'm a low person, an A flat. Oh no, that is the wrong note. Okay, so make sure that you really change your air because between these two notes, it is a lot of effort it takes to make that big leap. You must make it happen again. This machine will not work for you unless you make it work for yourself. Okay, so that is how you practice that. And and then uh, I'm sorry. Then when you come back down here. It is also a big leap. You must make sure that you change your lips. If you do not change your lips, you will get a C sharp, and that is not in the arpeggio. That is uh, some silly, silly, foo-foo stuff. Okay, so do not play like that, because then that 
uh, really wrong, so play it the right way. And finally, here is, and then the hardest part, oh my gosh, this is so difficult, is when you must make these leaps, okay? These leaps are actually very, very difficult, but your instrument is also very, very difficult, all right? That is why you are allowed to leap. Otherwise, you will have to go all the way up to a G. Now, if you would like to go up to a G, because you think it would be a fun and hunky-dory and happy, 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 then you can do that, and that will be very, very nice, okay? So, uh, when you make the leap, Make sure that you go all the way down here. Okay, that is what you must do. Sorry for the missed notes. I was transposing and it was very confusing to see different notes than what I'm actually playing. It's very, very difficult. Okay. All right. So um, hopefully that helps you out. Then when you get to the arpeggio, here's the thing that helps me when I get to arpeggios. This note is the exact same note as this note. Okay, so if you just memorize that note in your in your brainy brain, then when you make those leaps, you just remember it. It's like you go back to the information and you're reaching back into your brain and you're trying to find it and you're like, yes, I remember what it is. It is very, very easy to remember that then. Okay, so just tell your brain, I'm going back to the same exact note these three times and it very, very helps out much. Okie dokie, so I hope that you guys uh, have success at playing this scale. And uh, if you have any questions, I'm sure that Mr. Korn will be happy, happy, happy to help you outie, outie, outie. Okie dokie. Oh, I got to move this. Okay, goodbye.